Hello, this is not a spring chick the bikini time, and this happens to look like a wand. Oh, you know, I could have brought this to the theater. Somebody, asked, they asked me if I, well, actually, I guess I did say I didn't bring a wand with me to Harry, see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two, and of course, what I'm wearing right here, these are, these are the special edition Harry Potter 3D glasses. Oh, yes, you got to have some fun. Now part of it is yours, you know, like all these movies, we did watch in 3D, and as you can see, we looked at all of the different glasses. Now here's a great part. These are in limited edition supply when we went to go see it. I don't know if you can still get these. No. Oh, it was just for last night? It was at last night's midnight showing. Sorry, you can't get them. But they are better than the typical 3D glasses that you're going to find at the theater. But as far as Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, where it says it all ends, I don't think so. I think that's a little bit deceptive. It could be changing a little bit. Do you watch end? After you think it's ending, it does say 19 years later, which does give you some foreshadowing. As far as 3D, I'm expecting to see the other Harry Potters made into 3D movies. I don't know how long it'll be, but as far as 3D, this is one of the ones that you're going to want to see at the theater. Big thumbs up. If you can catch it on IMAX, all the better. But you can also view it, well, maybe not equally as well, but you can still enjoy it home later. And especially if you're a big Harry Potter fan, or even not a Harry Potter fan and you just like action, this is one of those movies that went from, okay, Harry Potter was just for kids before. Yes, it's gotten, well, it's grown up. It's for adults now, too. So for now, this is not a spring chick that my keys are.